Hello, RWB Sports here. This is Reginald Peoples bringing you inside news from right here in Reading, PA. I am here at King's Gym once again where we came down here to watch Yuri and Hendry, his brother, who is on Team Combat League, get ready as they prepare for upcoming fights. These are two brothers just coming by way of Dominican Republic who have been on the Olympic team several times and they have won Olympic medals. In the process, in coming to the gym, I was able to get a, a glimpse of none other. If you see the young lady behind me, if you notice on 520, 2023, at the 2300 Arena, this young lady right here, Brittany Sims, who is now the number one Bantamweight contender in the world. She is here in Reading, Pennsylvania. If you don't believe me, take a look for yourself. That is actually her back there on the treadmill, and we're gonna give an opportunity to speak with her really soon. So, RWB Sports don't get an opportunity to get these chances very much, so we wanted to take advantage of it while she's here. For one, to see what brought her to Reading, uh, Pennsylvania, and to talk about her last fight that she had in El Paso, Texas, and to see how it feels being number one in the world. She is the number one contender, the number one Bantamweight contender in the world. So we're gonna be able to talk to her and see what it's like, what it feels like, you know, racing to that upper echelon, and where is her career going from here? There's nothing but promising futures for this young lady as she continues to, to train, she continues to inspire, she continues to fight her way to the top. So just stay tuned. This is Reginald Peoples with RWB Sports. The young lady behind me, we're going to get a chance to talk to her up close and personal in just a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, RWB Sports back, just like I promised. Here she is, the number one bantamweight contender in the world, Miss Brittany Sims. How are you? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Great. How, well, first of all, I wanted to ask the question, what brought you to Reading, Pennsylvania? Well, uh, the Combat League brought me out here. Um, I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be contributing to the team with my skills. Hopefully, okay. it'll help out. Okay. Well, just yesterday we were out in uh, Philly at Team Smoke at Team Chaos at uh, with the uh, uh, Combat League, and so they were. I heard news and heard through the grapevine that you would be coming, but I didn't realize that you was going to be part of the Smoke. Yeah, that's. I mean, I'm gonna be training with them. Uh, I, d I don't know. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh -huh. Well, in watching you and watching your career, I know that you're going to bring a, a great 
part to the team. You, you're going to be a, a great asset to the team. Uh, they are building a team of nothing but knockout artists. And so getting into that, let's talk about El Paso. You just fought a couple of weeks ago, March 1st, in El Paso. So how did that go? That actually went pretty well. Uh, the, my opponent, she was she was she was pretty tough. I was I was throwing some bombs and she was able to take them. Um, right. Yeah, but she's a Hungarian champion and I think the Polish champion as an amateur. So she came in with with a nice pedigree. She came in with some really good experience. She had great movement and um, the way that I fought, uh, I adjusted and and you know I kept I kept the momentum going and and turned it up a little bit and so. She um she she hung she hung out but you know I right. I took care of business. Okay. Now this is what your that was your third or fourth fight since uh, the fifth of 2023 when uh, well the 20th 520 2023 when you actually won the belts from McKenna Tinsley out of Canada. So going forward what's next for the number one contender the number one bantamweight contender in the world well um we are looking to fight uh, nina hughes uh, who who holds the wba belt mm -hmm. for bantamweight and she's she's a tough opponent so i'm just gonna i'm just waiting for the call you know we are number one and you know i'm just gonna continue to work and see see what happens I'm not in any rush, but you know, I I know I know who I am. I know what I can do. So right now, for those young fighters that are coming up behind you, though the amateur fighters that are coming up behind you, to be sitting at number one, all right. How does that make you feel? It's not just number one, you know, in Oregon. It's not just number one in Texas. You're number one in the world. Well, that it makes me feel like the the hard work that I that I put in it's is paying off. You know, I used to just wait, sit on the talent that I had, but you know, when I mixed in that hard work and dedication, that changed everything. And I mean, being number one in the world shows it. So um, it, it's just another step up to to the goal that we're getting. And you know, I'm not trying to let it go to my head. You know, stay humble and and keep working hard because I mean, it could be taken away at any moment, right? Yes, you're absolutely right. Anything can happen in inside this square circle. Anything can happen. Well, I know you're here and you're here for a purpose, so I'm not going to hold you up. I just wanted to take this opportunity to be able to sit and talk to the number one bantamweight contender in the world. Like I said, RWB Sports doesn't get that opportunity very much, but we've been following your career uh, ever since you stepped on the scene back in Fort Worth, Texas, when we first saw you. Uh, we knew then that you were something special and that you were going to be something special. So is there anything you want to say to your fans, to your promoters, to your managers, your trainers while you're here? Um, yeah, I want to. I want to say. Hello, I want to say thank you to my promoter Marshall Kaufman, Kings Promotion, and James Bartley for just you know giving me the opportunity to to be signed to the promotion and to be out here working hard for for the goal. I want to say hello to my family and friends, um, and and I want to say hello to the Pacific Northwest. You know, we're holding it down, but I am from Ohio. You know, I am okay. from Ohio, so okay. I want to say hello to my people. You know, six one four. I gotta rep them. You know, they'll get mad if. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you got to represent the birthplace yes, for yes. sure, for sure. Well, thank you for taking this opportunity out to talk to us. I'm going to let you get back to your workout. I'm going to get a little footage of you while you're working out. Okay. And I'll be here. I'll actually be at the 2300 Arena March 28th. So I'll be there to watch you handle your business. Good luck. I know you're going to do well. And I'm looking forward to you coming back with that strap across your right. Yes. All right? Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank uh -huh. you. <laughs> June 29th, top rank. La Bazooka, he's back. Top rank. ESPN, he's about to do it again. Boom. <laughs> Yo, oh, boom. I, I gotta stay in shape with these guys. <laughs> Without a question. These guys are just a, a trainer that's not in shape. It's not gonna. Not, Wait, I'm telling you. You gotta be in shape and train these guys. Yes. Because, because I'm the one that trains them. No, no, no. Dicelo, dicelo a mi te check. Que no hay entrenador que aguante esa boba suca. He says there is no trainer that'll that'll be able to hold these two. <laughs> the trainer will get tired before them. Él tiene que entrenar con nosotros también para mantener. I, I gotta train with them so I can maintain myself and be able to keep up with them. Every day I do Hey, hey, hey. Buenas suerte. 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 Buenas suerte.
Buena suerte a mí. El anticristo. Ah, el anticristo. Ah, el pueblo es fuerte y, y yo soy fuerte y el dice quítate que voy por ahí. Así es. Yo trabajo fuerte y el pueblo dice quítate que voy por ahí. Te voy por ahí. He says, he works hard, and then, you know, uh, um, Eldie comes and says, okay, now it's my turn. <laughs> and I gotta take more punishment. <laughs> yep. Actually, I gotta get more shape than they are. <laughs> take two of them at the same time. Woo. How they feel? Come on, let's see. Nice. Nice. Once again, when we traveled, that was my guy, check for me, in the house, once again, doing this thing. <laughs> uh, an endless, endless, endless road to... You know, success. An endless road to success. Hey, hanging out hanging out with the uh, Bazooka Brothers <laughs> and Sensei. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're here to stay, baby. Take on the world. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you for the glove, sir. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. Reporting hey. DJ Chimper, you all deserve it. You deserve it. Appreciate yeah. it. You deserve it. And thank you. That's all time. Vamos a ver cómo se siente ahora. Vamos. I just killed him with some missing one more. Vamos a probar cómo se siente los guantes. He's got to break in the new glove. Yeah, he's got to break them in. Thank <laughs> you.